Hey there and welcome to today's video. I am so emotional and excited right now and very, very nervous. I haven't filmed in so long and first I just want to say thank you so much for sticking with me and hanging in there. I've had a lot going on and I just, I wasn't able to film. I had no place to film and it's just been crazy. So this is my permanent filming room, um, permanent for at least a year. So I am so, so happy and grateful and excited. So um, I just moved in here um, six, no, five days ago and I set up the background already because I wanted to hurry up and film. So, for today's video, I have the Wet n Wild Halloween collection. Not all of it, but I have some of it. Now, I did film this already, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that it got all messed up. Not the visual part, but the sound, the audio. And I sent it out to be fixed. It could not be fixed. I was willing to pay any price. It couldn't be fixed. So this is not a first impression, but I wanted to show you the Wet n Wild Halloween collection. So I do have the, I've used it actually like two or three times because I, I was hoping to fix that video. But um, I have the uh, eyeshadow palette. It's called the Boo Crew. And this is what it looks like right here. I do have pictures of the other Halloween eyeshadow palettes on my Instagram. I have the highlighter. It's called Caught in Your Web. And there's a little skeleton here. I don't know if you can pick up on. There's the skeleton right there. And check this out. This kills me that my... My first video is ruined because look at the blush guys it's called zombie blush it's like a dark green and in the first video I am like so scared to put it on my face but I do it anyway check out what happens check this out I also grabbed one of the liquid lipsticks in the shade Witch Please. This is what it looks like. Now, I don't know if I mentioned on Instagram or not, but I did pick up this stencil. I didn't get the paint. I still haven't gotten the paint, but I do want to show you that they have stencils for the Halloween collection. So what I'm going to do is throw on my eyebrows and some eyeshadow primer, and then we'll use these products. I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your support and everything you do. I absolutely love you guys so, so much. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Uh, the links will be down below, and I'll be back in just a minute. for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. I love you all and all of your wonderful comments. All right, guys. So eyebrows are on. Eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer is on. Oh my God. I'm like giddy. I, I, this is like crazy how much I love filming and haven't been able to do it. And it's like, because filming for me is so therapeutic and not having it and then having my own space right now, like my very own space to do it, I'm just like, I don't know, I can't describe how I feel. It's like a euphoric, grateful, peaceful, oh my God, I can't believe this finally happened feeling. I, I felt like it was never gonna happen and I didn't know what was gonna happen or, you know, I mean, it was just so crazy everything that I've been through over the last couple months and then towards the end it just felt like it's not gonna happen and not for nothing but I have not done makeup in five days I have been makeup less 
for five days, which is so not like me. Even on days where I do nothing, I do my makeup. So to go five days with no makeup is like, I feel like, holy crap, it's not a long time, but I kind of feel like I'm a beginner again for some weird reason. So now, the first time I used this eyeshadow, I threw this color for the transition color in the crease. And it made the blue, because there's only three mattes. There's this one, this one here, and the black one. So throwing that beige one in the crease and then I went over it with this made it very, very dull. So for today, I'm going to just go in with that one here and pray it works out. So pray with me because... I want to create something really pretty for you guys today and for me and for my husband since it's been five days since I did makeup and like months since I recorded. So let's go ahead and add that blue. Now in the first video, you, I wish I could upload it. I thought about uploading it and you know, voiceovering it, and I tried that, but it just, it wasn't the same, and to be honest with you, I wanted, you know, if, if I'm going to show you the video, I wanted you to see those reactions. I hate wet and wild eyeshadow. I do. I think it sucks, and, but this palette, the this Boo Crew palette, is really good. It really blew my mind in the first impression. And I can't, you know, I'm not going to reenact my impressions, but I will say that whatever formula they used in this palette here is a lot better than what they normally do. Now, I, please don't kill me for saying I hate Wet n Wild eyeshadow. I know that a lot of people really like it and it works for a lot of people. Just for me, it just doesn't. Every single time I have done an eye look with Wet n Wild, other than this palette, it looks like garbage. So I'm just adding this blue color to the crease. You can see it's a lot darker than what it is in the pan. Now, like I said, the first time I put that beige underneath and it made it really, really dark. So going without the beige, I, I think that that was a good idea. And you can see it looks good. It's not choppy or anything like that. Now, normally... I will throw at least two colors in the crease, but unfortunately, there's only three mattes in the palette, beige, black, and blue. Um, I might add a little black on the outer edge later, but for now, I am only doing the blue. So I think it looks pretty good. I, I you know, I'm, I can't complain. I, I, I usually hate their shadow and just, I'm sorry if the camera just shook. Um, I, I usually hate their shadow and this, this one, I, you know why I hate it? Because I find it hard to work with. I gotta put in so much effort with Wet n Wild eyeshadow for it to work. I ain't got time for that. You know, I got kids. I got stuff to do. I don't want to be doing an eye look for hours, you know, and when there's other eyeshadow out there that I don't have to. So that's my whole reasoning with the Wet n Wild eyeshadow. So I'm just going to add a touch more of the, oh my God, I had the mirror in front of my face. I am so sorry. I know that this video, guys, is not going to be perfect. There's going to be hiccups. This is the first time filming in this location, first time filming in forever, haven't done my makeup in five days. There's going to be hiccups in this video. I hope you guys can look past it and still enjoy it anyway. I'm just so happy to be doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera. All right, guys, so both eyes are 
are done with that part. So now what I want to do is take my flat brush. I'm just going to spray it. Let's dip into this one right here. I know it's similar to the crease, but I want to use it because it's a really good shimmer. I was so impressed the first time. So I'm just going to throw that on the inner portion of my eye. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's so good. It's I. This palette itself is $5. Now, I, like I said, I hate wet and wild eyeshadow, but this shimmer is, it's amazing. It's just amazing. I, I couldn't have been more impressed if I tried. So I'm adding that in the inner portion area. I'm just going to shadow switch my brush real quick. I do want to spray it again because I found with this palette you really need to and then I want to go in to this green right there we're going in to that green and we may dip into the other green too because um let me try it with my finger it really comes off great with your finger yeah check that out super super pretty and I am, I just want to say, I apologize if this keeps shaking. It looks like it, but I don't know if it's coming across in the video. It's the, what I, I'm using my phone to record right now, and it's hooked to my vanity. So every time I do something on the vanity, it shakes. So I just, you know, I'm sorry. I definitely, in the future, will be buying a camera, but I got my room first, so thank goodness. Now, I do, I'm not going to re-wet the brush, but I want to dip into this green right here and see if that'll make it pop just a smidge more. And I'm using the same flat brush. Uh, I always use this flat brush and yeah check that out that is so so pretty I am digging it I love this palette guys so for the outer V I'm gonna go into this dark blue here and again on the flat brush and I didn't re-wet it this time it's probably wet enough and just do that outer corner area of the eye just like that and that is like a gorgeous look I love blue eyeshadow I <laughs> a funny story everybody I don't know if you know if you're new here welcome and I used to be a nurse I was a nurse for five years um I recently was fired because I wore makeup and the stupid boss was like, I don't know, retarded. And she gave me a hard time, but that's not the point of the story. The point of my story is I, years ago, like when I first started nursing, I always wore blue eyeshadow before I really got into makeup and everything, but I always rocked blue and like purple eyeshadow. And there was another nurse at the facility that I worked at that used to make fun of me all the time because I had blue eyeshadow on. And I am the type of person, I don't give a crap, you know, so I'm going to do what I want to do regardless of anything. So, um, you know, I kept wearing it and she, it really bothered her and she gave me a hard time. But the whole point is I was rocking blue eyeshadow long before I ever got into makeup like this. And to this day, it is like one of my favorite favorite colors to wear. I absolutely love it. So I'm just cleaning up the eye. 
Now look, I think this look is gorgeous so far. So what I want to do is throw on mascara, foundation, do what I don't have here product wise on my face and I will be back so that we can check out the, it is a shade shifting blush guys. Now it says it changes colors on your face. Wait and see. Check it out. Wait and see. So we'll get into the blush, the highlight, and the liquid lip in just a minute. All right, guys, I did have to throw a headband on because my hair and the foundation was mixing together. So a quick rundown of what I used on my face for a primer. I used the Master Prime by Maybelline, and I don't know if I have a video with these products right here because I think it was the video that got messed up. Anyway, so I have a hell of a time keeping makeup in this vicinity. I found this Makeup Revolution Pro Base Spray at TJ Maxx for $3.99. It's amazing. Put it on before your primer. Put your primer on and then a little setting mist. I used this one here. Also got at TJ Maxx. This was five bucks and it holds the makeup on amazing. So just a quick shout out. If I can't find this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls again, I will order it online. I don't care. It's amazing. So for foundation, I went with the Believe Beauty Foundation. I really love it. It wears beautiful. $5. Amazing. For concealer, I picked up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye at TJ Maxx um, or Marshalls. It was $10. It is a wonderful concealer and it's great if you need full coverage. It's very, very full coverage. It does not set into the fine lines and wrinkles. It's a wonderful concealer. I used my Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty, my Fenty Beauty Butter Setting Powder to set my face to contour. I have it here somewhere. I used my Wet n Wild Contour Stick and I got my Anastasia Bronzer also at TJ Maxx in the shade 20. Oh, I love this bronzer. Like a month ago, it was all the rave in all the TJ Maxx videos. I'm super happy I picked it up. It's one of my favorites. Now, for eyelashes, I was in Walmart the other day and they, um, they, I saw these new eyelashes. They are the Britney Bear eyelashes. The eyelashes I have on today are Bearified, but I also picked up Exotic and I like them. However, the band is very, very thick. It's a clear band. I prefer a black band. It's very thick, and I don't even know if the corners are down because I could not get the inner corners to stay down for the longest time. And I did go ahead and touch up my eyebrows with my Urban Decay Double Down Brow. Because my hair is lighter right now, um, it needs to be dyed. Sorry about the roots. It's going to get dyed this week. Um, I usually use the Wet n Wild little brow kit, but because my hair is faded, I went with a lighter shade with Urban Decay. So, Blah, 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 blah. Now, with all that being said, let's do the under eye area, the blush highlight, and lips. Now, again, there's really not much selection in this palette. I'm wondering, in the first video, I used the blue on the under eye. Let's try the black. I love doing new crap in videos. I just love setting myself up to make a fool of myself and see if shit works. So I'm going to take a small brush and we are going to dive into black. Black can be very, very tricky, guys. It doesn't always end up well. Mm, okay, we're going to 
play this out. Um, we're going to see how this is going to play out. So far, it's going on very, very nicely. I'm digging it. I do have a completely black outfit on and... I got some skull pants on, picked these up at Walmart for $4, and I love them, and they're perfect because even though I just moved, guys, I still put up fall and Halloween decorations because Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday. I have more Halloween decorations than I do any other holiday, including Christmas. It is just my favorite. To this day, at 43 years old, I still dress up for Halloween. I love it. So I am in the spirit today. Not for nothing, though. I would wear these in the middle of the spring or summer, too. I love skulls and stuff like that. Back in my 20s, I used to dress very, very gothic. And I was a bartender, and at that time, nobody dressed like that. This We're talking 20 years ago. And I was dating this guy who tried to change me. He wanted me, to, I had dark hair, he wanted me to be blonde, in mini skirts, like, you know, just like different than what I was. And I refused, I absolutely refused, and I'm so you know, glad that I stayed true to myself. Obviously, we are no longer together. Anybody that ever tries to change you, they're not for you. Um, so I dressed very gothic. I stood out like a sore thumb, but I loved every minute of it. It was awesome. In high school, I dressed very, very, very different and got beat up for it all the time. But I still stayed true to who I am. I think that that black smoked out pretty freaking good. I'm digging it. Let me just touch up the side area here. I'm just going to bring it up just a smidge on the side. I'm going to go into the blue mat and just kind of take this down a little bit up here and mix them together. I, yeah, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. I can't wait for my husband to come home and see me in makeup today. I, I just, I, we've been together nine years and I still love to get dressed and look good for him and pretty for him, even though he says I look pretty with no makeup in pajamas i it still makes me feel good to look good for him so let's do the inner corner and the brow bone i don't want to use a color from here actually shit some bitch i need to do eyeliner and mascara on the lower lash line so let me grab a eyeliner and i have mascara right here i'll be right back all right, I have eyeliner. This is my little bin for eyeliner. And um, I'm kind of, I'm wondering if we should go blue with blue mascara or black with black mascara. Um, thinking, let's throw black on with black. I, I, in all of my videos, I forever use colored mascara. I am totally and completely obsessed with colored mascara. All right, guys, so I have this black eyeliner that I got in like an Ipsy or Birchbox subscription. It's soup. Can you see that? It's super, super black. It's from the brand Sugar, and I've used it before, very rarely, but it's super mega black, and it, it's like holy cannoli black. I really, really like it a lot. Um, I don't know about these eyelashes, guys. I don't know if I mentioned they are $5 a pair. Um, I know I mentioned I grabbed them at Walmart. Um, I think if the band was black and 
thinner, they would be awesome. But because the band is clear, I don't know if you can see them, because the band is clear and so, so thick, it's like they, um, they don't stay down in the inner corner. And I don't know, I don't really like that. I only grabbed the two pairs probably not going to repurchase them. So I'm just going to throw some black mascara on my lower lashes. So guys, now that I have a permanent filming room in my home, this is amazing. Um, you're probably sick of hearing me talk about it already in this video. What type of videos, what products do you guys want to see? See, I am going to refilm the Morphe Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette and setting spray. That'll be up this week along with this video. What other products do you guys want to see? What other videos do you guys want to see? Let me know and I will make it happen. There has been so many foundation releases. Um, I don't really want to purchase all of them. I have like 30 foundations as it is. So for me to go buy all the new releases is stupid. But I do... I do want to try them out for you, so why don't you drop a comment down below, let me know which foundation you guys want me to try, any new eyeshadow palettes you guys want me to try, drop it in a comment down below, it would really help me out a lot, and you know, you get, you get to see what you want. So I'm going to dip into the Skull Highlighter for the inner corner and brow bone. I love Wet n Wild's highlighters. I love their regular highlighters, their loose highlighters. Uh, they just, they kill it in the highlighter game. This highlighter is no different. Now, I love how it looks white in the pan. And look at the inner corner, guys. Can you see the different colors that show up when it's applied on the skin? In. It's gorgeous, just gorgeous. So you will see more of that when I apply it to my face. I'm just going to do the brow bone with it as well. Check that out so far. It is, I love it. It's so, so good. Look at the shade shifting that's in there. All the different colors that show up in the lighting. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I just love this look. I love it. It's gorgeous. This look that we have right now is definitely a lot lighter than the look I created the first time around. The first time it was very, very dark, very dark, and I loved it. And I have pictures that I will post um, on my Instagram, but I, uh, you know, I just haven't posted them because the video was messed up. I'm just taking a little bit of the blue and going up on that eye because it looks a little uneven. So I think that looks super pretty, guys. I love the eye look. Let's dive into this blush. Okay, so... It is supposed to color change on your face. Now, the first time that I, you know, opened it and everything, I swatched it, and I'll do that for you. All right, this is what happens. You see this, it's green. It's, it's not color changing, it's not, it stays green. So when I was applying it to my face, I was a nervous wreck. But I'm going to just let you know it does color change. So let's go in and apply the blush. It is so, so cool, guys. Check this out. So I'm going to go in and just apply it on my face. Look at this. Now, it's a little dark. It is. But it doesn't come off green. And I like to just take a little blush to the rest of my face, but it looks 
good. I like it. I do. I like it a lot. I think it's pretty. I, I, I like, it looks good. I like it. Would it be something that I would grab on a daily basis? No, I'm not going to grab a green blush, you know, on a daily basis. I'm just not. Although it's super cool and it looks pretty, I just wouldn't grab it. But I think it looks good. It's a little shiny. Um, it's coming off shiny on the screen. So I'm just going to buff it down with a fluffy brush. Still looks shiny, but it's a cool concept. So let's dip into this highlighter and where is, here's my highlighter brush. I almost said here's my highlighter blush. So I'm using a Morphe brush. There is the skull and I am so living for this highlighter. So let's go ahead and apply. Now everybody, everybody's makeup taste is different and that's cool and i love that and i support every single different style and taste i like to glow so i always <laughs> od on the highlighter i do i like to glow um maybe you don't like it maybe you don't like how it looks on me but it's what i like and like I was saying throughout the video, you got to stay true to what you like and who you are. You you just have to, you know, it's just, it's just good for you. And I'm just going to add some to my nose and my upper lip area and my chin. And I want to show you, do you see the color? I might have went down a little too low right here but we'll just wipe that off with the hand check it out can let me get that out of the way look at the light like the different colors that's picking up it's so so pretty I really really love this highlighter now this is definitely something that I would reach for on a regular basis I wear all different color highlighters, blue, purple, you name it, I wear it on a regular basis. I'm just going to take some Believe Beauty Brow Mascara and throw that on my brows. Oh, there we go. I love this Believe Beauty Brow Mascara, guys. It's so cute and tiny, and it's just, it's great. I love it. I still love my NYX Brow Mascara, but I'm running very low. So, let's grab this liquid lip. I think basically, I'll, I want to say everybody, but not everybody. A lot of people really like the cat suits. I'm kind of like, eh, I could live with or without them. Doesn't really matter to me. I've worn better. I've worn worse. So it's kind of like whatever. But here is the color. It's called Witch Please. I obviously do not have a lip liner for this color. I'm not sure how this is going to look with the eye look today because like I said, the first video, the eye look was super, super dark. So this kind of matched. It was a very gothic look. We're going to see how this looks. I don't know if I'm going to keep it on for when my husband comes home. We'll, we'll just see how it looks. Check that out. It is very dark. It is green. It is a dark green. I do really like different lip colors. I really do, guys. I will wear a blue lip or a purple lip. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, I, I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't love it. But this is what we're working with. I'm just going to grab my setting spray and we'll complete the final look. So for setting spray today, guys, I grabbed this Maybelline Lasting Fix. I've been wearing it for about a month now, and I really am enjoying it. It's awesome. 
awesome, awesome setting spray. I don't want to say awesome drugstore setting spray because it's awesome. It's just awesome. I love this setting spray. My sprayer is a little wonky, but I still like the product a lot. So let's just set the face and I'm just going to go in with, I know I drench my face in setting spray. I know I do. You're all probably like, you don't need that much setting spray. I, everything I do, I do in excess and I kind of do like a lot of setting spray because I really like my makeup to last. But more than that, everything I do, I do in excess. I'm just going to grab my beautiful new fan. Well, it's not new, but I got it at the dollar store. If you've seen some of my older videos, I had a little electric fan. Well, that took a big crap. Even changing the batteries did nothing. And I got this. I said, this is an awesome idea. And it's super, super pretty. All right, guys, so this is the completed look. Ah, it felt so good to do this today. It felt amazing to film and talk to you and do makeup, especially in my own room, in my own space. Oh my God, it feels so stinking good. So I really do like the look today. I think it's pretty. I think I will keep this lipstick on. It kind of matches my skull pants and the look I have going on today. I'm digging it. So I'm going to rock this today. And I really liked everything. I, I kind of told you what I thought of the products as we went along. So I'm not going to retell you. But I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of the look. Let me know if you have tried or are going to try any of the Wet n Wild Halloween makeup. I also know that Makeup Revolution is doing Halloween makeup too. I got to pick something up. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys are doing. I definitely will try to get that Wet n Wild paint and do a stencil look. Um, hopefully I can do that very soon. Get to the store and pick that up. And I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me and my channel. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it. Let's get this channel out there okay it's super super hard to get a following it really is so if you like this share it with your friends and if you're new here welcome welcome to our family i really hope you subscribe if you're not new here thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking around i truly appreciate it and a lot of you commented some very kind words on instagram thank you so much i love you all so so much and i will catch you very very soon in my next video